Howdy everyone, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today, we're gonna go over a do-it-yourself archery bow and arrow stand. By the way, I just started an Instagram page, so if you're interested in some sneak peeks of upcoming videos or any other content, please check me out over on Instagram as well. So today, we're gonna go through the do-it-yourself archery bow and arrow stand. And so a little bit behind this, uh, I talked about it in my first video about some maintenance and things like that. Um, and now that I'm kind of shooting out closer to 30 yards, I don't have anywhere to put my bow, uh, hang it on when I go to pull the arrows. Um, and you don't really want to set it on the ground and have to deal with getting any dirt and grime in the, the cams and causing some issues, uh, as well as having the ability to be able to put your arrows somewhere so you can just pull them right out. Um, and, and they're right there in a convenient spot and you don't have to go grab them each time. Uh, so with that being said, let's go ahead and check out the materials and tools you're going to need to build this. For this project, you will need two one inch by 10 foot pieces of PVC, two three inch by 24 inch pieces of PVC, four one inch elbows, five one inch T's, one one inch cross, two one inch end caps, three one inch to one and a half inch sleeves, and three one and a half inch to three inch couplers. The tools for this project are gonna be a tape measure and a Sharpie. You're also gonna need something to cut the PVC with. So here I have some Husky PVC cutters. You can use a, a chop saw or a circular saw or even just a, a plain old hacksaw if that's all you have. And then I also have a rubber mallet. And so we're gonna go ahead and start cutting the base. So I want my base to be approximately about two feet by two feet. Um, so I'm gonna start making about 11 and a half inch cuts because I'm gonna have a T connector in between it as well. Um, so I'll go ahead and start doing that. So I went ahead and cut 12, 11 and a half inch pieces. I'll use 10 for the base, and then two of them are gonna be the arms that will hold the bow. So let's go ahead and start assembling the base. You'll need your elbows. So you'll have four elbows and five T pieces. So let's go ahead and start assembling. All right, so now we've built our base, we're gonna build up. So here on the two ends are where I'm gonna put the uh, arrow holders. So I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut a small piece of the one inch pipe. And I'll need two of these, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut them. So those will go in here, and then you're going to slide on your one inch to one and a half inch sleeve here. And then on top of that will be your one and a half inch to three inch coupler. So we'll go ahead and do that on the other side too. Pipe, the sleeve, and the coupler. And so then now we're gonna take our three inch pipe. And there you go. Loot on this side. And so that's gonna be for your arrows. And you may have to cut it down a little bit if you're depending on the length of your arrows. Depending on how long your, uh, your bow is, will depend on kind of how tall you want this middle piece to be. So right now I have 
58 inches. I'm going to cut it down to four feet. All right, so that goes in the middle. And so up here, you're going to put your cross on there, your one inch cross. And then these will be your arms. Again, I cut these to be 11 and a half inches. You can change that if you want it to be more or less. And I put my end cap on. So if you want to add a cup holder on the top, you'll need to cut another small piece of one inch PVC here. This could be for a drink or for tools or anything else that you want to hold. And then you'll need to attach the one to one and a half inch sleeve and then the one and a half inch to three inch coupler. So one thing I decided or I'm deciding to do now is my arrows were kind of going through and falling through the hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece of this cup out and hot glue it in here so that the arrows will have something to stop and hit on. What I'll do also is I'll drill a couple small holes so that water can still get through if water gets in, in the arrow holder and it'll get through and out the bottom. So I'll go ahead and start doing that. This is something that I'm going to be leaving outside. Um, and so I kind of mentioned a little bit earlier when I was putting those pieces of plastic in the arrow holders um, that I was going to put holes so water can get through. So what I'm going to do is along all the pipe on the bottoms here, I'm going to put uh, some 3 16 inch holes just so that if water gets in it, 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 it'll drain out easier. So there you have it. Here's the do-it-yourself bow and arrow holder. So just kind of show you, you know, I ended up cutting these down, like I said, about six inches so that the arrows would fit in there fine. Um, and I'll turn it here for you so you can kind of see this angle. And so I cut these arms down a little bit more um, to give it a little more stability. And I cut this piece down some for stability as well. If you want to make it a little bit more stable so it's not as, you know, move, you don't have as much movement or anything like that, you know, you can go up to about one and a half inch or even two inch pipe if you want. But I just, that was too big for what I was wanting to use it for. Um, and then, you know, you, on the other side, you can put another bow, your release, you know, you have another spot for more arrows. So that's it for today. If you have any questions or comments, suggestions, how I can make this better, um, any ideas, please leave a comment, like my video. Um, if you're interested in more content like this, please subscribe as I'll be putting out some more do-it-yourself archery and, and rifle hunting items. And as always, I appreciate it. Thanks.